It started off as a normal day for one Texas middle school teacher and coach. Everything seemed fine, even um, when he was with the principal. Everything seemingly okay, until it wasn't. We're going to get into all the details about what happened here in just a second, guys. First, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit the like button for me. Very important also, you please share the video, help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. So this was at Divine Independent School District. This is one of their teachers. Uh, he'd been with them since 2016, was a teacher for both sixth and eighth grade science, as well as coaching for sports like football, basketball, track. Jacob Sanchez, 35 years old, beloved by his community, by everybody at the school, his students. On Thursday, January 5th, 2023, as I said earlier, everything seemed normal. He's getting ready to start class. Gets into the first couple of moments of starting things off when all of a sudden Jacob collapsed to the ground. Now, upon this happening, a memo was sent out to all of the parents of the students there at the school informing them that they were having a medical issue there at the school. This is, of course, because of Sanchez. They said that all the students were fine, all the students were safe, but because of what happened, they were going to be canceling all of the games that were scheduled for that day. According to a medical examiner, Jacob Sanchez had died suddenly, in fact, from a heart attack that he suffered here uh, right at the beginning of class. And when I mentioned here about the principal, because she released a statement here about what took place, right before the start of class, she had been speaking with Sanchez. He had nothing wrong with his health. He was completely fine. He didn't come in that day feeling sick, nothing like that. So this really caught her off guard. And she's absolutely stunned that he's no longer here. And the relationship here between the principal and Sanchez goes back quite a long way. In fact, the principal said that she considers Sanchez like a son to her. Before, San uh, before the principal uh, became the principal, she was a teacher at the school and actually she taught Sanchez and her own son when they were younger and when they were in class. She actually got to watch him, you know, kind of grow up here and then become a teacher, become a coach. So this really hit her extremely hard, um, as well as the wife of Jacob Sanchez, Rebecca. She released a statement on the passing of her husband and mentioned that, you know, he was, you know, the rock for their family. He kept everything in order. Um, somebody who was always willing to help. He cared so much about the students and everything that they did. And this is just yet another example. You know, and imagine too, the kids that were in the class that day that actually witnessed this happening to their teacher. Um, you know, be in prayer for this family because they're hurting right now, as are all the kids as well that were um, either coached by Sanchez or were in one of his science classes. And I'm gonna mention this as well, and by no means am I saying this is the cause for the heart attack, but I'm gonna mention it, that it was discovered in December of 2020. This is, in fact, when Sanchez even put on his own social media that he had taken his first dose of the Pinchy. And then in January of 2021, took the second dose. And with that came a caption that said, we've done our part. So again, I'm not saying that that was the cause that led to the heart attack, but all I'm gonna say is that we have seen a very stunning trend of these unexpected and sudden deaths that have occurred out of nowhere. Teachers, athletes, entertainers, politicians, Name a profession, and it's happened. It needs to come to an end. But again, please be in prayer for the family, for everybody at the school, for God to just give them peace and comfort at this time. You know, what I want to do right now is that I want to end this video on hope because that's something that I do on all my videos. It's part of my ministry outreach. I talk here about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to date on everything that's going on. 
And we do it all because we are trying to bring awareness to the fact that we are in the last days and Christ is coming back soon. You want to make sure that whenever you leave this world, however you do leave it, that you are in the arms of Christ when it happens. So if you're watching right now and you're someone that has not yet accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, what I would like to do right now is lead you in a prayer to accept him into your life. This is a prayer that you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, you want to acknowledge that you're a sinner. That is something that we all are. Let me tell you the good news, though. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry and then you just go jumping back into your old ways again, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. But if you would humbly go before the Lord and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. And trust me when I tell you that there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I'll have more information on this for you down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Our prayers, again, going out to the entire Sanchez family, everybody at Divine Independent School District, that God would just be with you all and bring you peace and comfort at this time. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.